Hi everyone. This video is brought to you by Team 56.4 demonstrating project titled Voice Biometrics Based Multi-Factor ATM Authentication. Our project aims at enhancing the existing access control in ATMs and thus reducing ATM highs that have become commonplace nowadays. Various techniques like card skimming and installation of wireless pinhole surveillance cameras have increased victims of ATM fraud. In order to curb the same, an efficient and economical solution is required for secure authentication of the user. Our proposed solution includes voice biometrics which accounts for the inherence factor, something only the user is, the conventional ATM card serving as the possession factor which only the user has and finally the four digit pin for the knowledge factor. In order to make our biometric system mimic resistant and reliable, an efficient verification algorithm based on MFCC and vector quantization was tested and finalized on MATLAB software. Voices were recorded during training phase and the test showed 94% efficiency with real-time voice samples. In our proposed system, the speaker verification is to be carried out by a digital signal processor embedded on a portable module. This standalone cost-effective system can be attached to the ATMs easily and ensures faster implementation on a larger scale. We have designed this prototype duplicating the ATM verification at an implementable level using TIC6713 DSP starter kit, MSP430G2553 LCD module and keypad with ICs LM358 and LM7805. The speaker verification algorithm is carried out by the floating point DSP at a speed of 1800 million instructions per second. The DSK also offers a high quality 24 bit stereo codec AIC23 for recording speech. The 9 volt battery power supply is regulated to 5 volt by IC LM7805, which drives the LCD module. Its brightness and contrast are controlled by 10k potentiometers connected to it. The 5 volt is also given as input to IC LM358, which converts it to 3.6 volt making it suitable for powering the MC. The keypad, LCD and DSK are interfaced to MSP430 G2553 which communicates between these to complete the transaction. During the training phase, each user is assigned a speaker number replacing the card in our prototype, a 4 digit unique PIN number and then the user is required to pronounce a word which is processed by C6713 DSP to generate a code book for the particular user. During the training session, the user is prompted to choose between train and test as displayed by the LCD. This is done by pressing DIP switch 3 on the DSP starter kit after which the LCD displays the unique speaker ID and PIN assigned to that particular user. The user now begins training by pressing DIP switch 2 as indicated. 4 The training procedure is then carried out by the DSP as shown by the onboard LED of the starter kit which goes off at the end of it. Similarly, a number of other users were trained and their respective codebooks were generated. Now, during an ATM transaction, the user is required to enter his speaker number followed by the unique PIN number in the keypad. The PIN is verified and if valid, the user is prompted to speak the same word spoken during the training phase. Processing follows and the access to transaction is authenticated for valid user. Pin mismatch halts the authentication without proceeding to speaker verification. Now, the user initiates the testing session by pressing DIP switch 0 of the starter kit, after which the user is prompted to enter unique ID and pin assigned during the training phase. When the pin entered is validated by the microcontroller, the LCD displays pin match.
As before, the user can then begin recording by pressing DIP switch 2. Four. The procedure for testing is carried out by the DSP, retrieving the feature vectors corresponding to the speaker ID entered. If the feature matching is successful, the LCD displays access granted. In case of imposters with the right knowledge factor, speaker verification invalidates them and thus illegal transactions are curbed. Here, the imposter enters the same ID and PIN as that of a previous user and successfully proceeds to the next stage as indicated by the PIN match on the LCD. Four. During the testing procedure, the recorded voice will not be matched with the stored database. This results in failure of the transaction and the LCD displays authentication fail. The hardware implementation results were compiled and it was found to verify 14 valid users out of the 18 trained. The algorithm for speaker verification always has scope for improvement. Also, when training is done in noise-free environment, the efficiency can be further improved. Thus, the suggested security system proves to be foolhardy, economical and easy to install.